Hey there, Brian D'Amico here from VectorVest, and today I want to show you how to take the options out of options. Do you wish you had an easy button you could press to generate consistent monthly income in the market? We've been teaching that trading options is the best way to do it, but options can be confusing, intimidating, and downright scary. What if there was an easy button for trading options, and by pressing it, you opened the gates to a new income stream that never existed before? Today, I'm going to show you a simple way to use options to generate consistent monthly income. What I'm about to show you, I believe, has been the most influential and effective income strategy we have taught. I've seen it change the lives of countless people, and you'll see a couple of them tonight. Learning this technique can truly set you free. A lot of people, when they start trying to learn options, get frustrated and intimidated by all the terms and types of trades that are possible. In addition to that, it's not like buying a stock where the only thing you have to worry about is the price of the stock. With options, you have the price, but you'll also have things called strike prices and different expiration dates, which leaves you wondering, which one do you pick? And just when you might start understanding that, then you still have to look for a stock to trade. Instead of having dozens of trade types to choose from, you want to be able to limit your choices to just one or two. Instead of having a lot of choices for strike prices and expiration dates, you want to know exactly which ones to choose. And instead of having to choose from among thousands of stocks, you want to know exactly which one to look at and know it was the right choice. All in all, you just want a simple step-by-step -step system that tells you exactly what to do and when to do it. A system you're confident in and a system that you know works. For example, Mike was like that. When we first started working with Mike, he was 79 years old. He's retired with three children and many grandchildren. Over the years, he dabbled with options, but he said he lost on each trade at first, so he gave it up for a while. Even though he took a couple of courses and started to understand it a little bit more, he never felt completely comfortable. He said he didn't have a set criteria. Once he learned the criteria we're going to look at today, he was able to make over $12,000 in four months. He continued his learning for the next year and then sent us this note towards the end of the year. He said he was able to prepay his property tax bill and now he doesn't have to worry about it. That's an example of how learning options can set you free. Before we dive into the specifics, let me ask you, why is this a must for you? Why is learning how to generate consistent monthly income a must for you? Just take a quick moment, pause the video, write down your answer. Okay, let's look at five ways to take the options out of options. Let's really simplify this process. The key underlying principle is that you need to narrow your selection. In other words, instead of having thousands of stocks and several other variables to worry about, you need to narrow that down. In some instances, we'll only have one choice. Others, we may only have two. My buddy Ron Wheeler, who's our manager of options trading, said that his closet looks just like this. Basically, each day, he looks in the closet and says, do I want to wear the gray pants? or the gray pants. By narrowing his selection, the process is quick. And if you have children, you know this is true. When my kids were small, I made the mistake of giving too many choices. For example, I might say, do you want this, 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 or that? And it left them frozen, and they typically threw their hands up and said, I don't know. But when I started only giving two choices, for example, you can either have this or this. They were able to choose one without a problem. When you do this with options, it can make the world of difference for you. Let's look at how to do it. The first way to take the options out of options is to narrow your stock selection. While you could look through a list of stocks and handpick some good ones, or you could run a search to find a good stock, which is actually something we do teach people how to do effectively, you can be even more efficient with your time. If instead of looking through thousands of candidates, you focused on just one, yeah, just one, you can be very efficient with your time and still very profitable trading options if you just traded the SPX. Why only the SPX? Well, first off, 
your analysis time is greatly reduced. There's virtually zero analysis time since you know exactly the ticker symbol you want. Second, there's no earnings or dividend dates to worry about. Plus, there are typically no large gaps based on random news. With stocks, earnings and news reports can play havoc on a stock's price. Since there are no earnings for the SPX index, and since it is broad market-based, news reports about individual companies don't affect it to a great degree. It makes it so much easier to trade. Even during the coronavirus sell-off, we never had a trade gap against us causing us to close the trade. It's also cash-based. One of the most common fears I hear from people who are learning about options is a fear that they will be assigned the stock. With the SPX, you don't have to worry about that. Additionally, it's heavily traded. You basically never have to worry whether you'd be able to get in or out of the trade. Lastly, trading the SPX has some tremendous tax advantages here in the States. The SPX, like other index options, is taxed at a 60-40 capital gain split, which means 60% of the profits are taxed at the long-term tax rate and 40% are taxed at the short-term rate. This can have a huge impact for you and could mean you pay a lot less in taxes. So the first thing you'll do if you want to take the options out of options is narrow your selection and trade just the SPX. The second way to take the options out of options is to narrow your side selection. In other words, there are two sides to every trade. There are the option buyers and there are the option sellers. You will focus on being an option seller. Let me say this, option buying definitely has its place. In fact, we have a whole course which teaches investors how to buy options the right way. So we do believe there is a place to be an option buyer when you know how to do it right. However, if you want to create a monthly income stream, option selling is what you'll focus on. Whether it be a stock or the SPX index, it can only do one of three things. It could go up, it could go down, or it could go sideways. As an option buyer, in order to make money, that stock needs to go in the direction you want. That means you can only make money in one of three scenarios, which means the option seller would make money in two of the three scenarios. And keep in mind, most option buyers out there don't do it correctly, and that's never going to stop. You might as well take advantage of that. Here's how. An option seller benefits in three ways from all the mistakes most option buyers make. Since most option buyers set their expiration too close and set their strike price too far away, those two items are working against them and they need to overcome that strike. Well, for you as the seller, the expiration would work for you instead of against you and the strike price would be easy to avoid for you instead of having to overcome it. And instead of the premium being something that you pay to somebody else, you're going to receive that premium. So to generate a consistent monthly income, you're going to be an option seller. That's the second way you will take the options out of options. The third way to take the options out of options is to narrow your trade type selection. When it comes to options, there's a wide variety of trades you could do. Well, to take the options out of options, you will narrow that list to just two. That's it, just two. One is called a bull put spread, the other is called a bear call spread. Don't let the terms scare you, I'll show you examples in just a second. Just think of it this way, bull means that trade is bullish and you want to place it when the market is rising. Put means you will use puts in that trade. Bear means that trade is bearish and you want to place that trade when the market is falling. And call means you will use calls in that trade. Let's take a look. What if you're bearish on the market? Well, you have one choice. It's called a bear call credit spread. Again, don't freak out. Bear means you're bearish. Call means it uses calls. Credit means you receive a credit when you place the trade. In other words, you receive money instead of paying money. And spread means you will use two different strike prices. Let's look at an example. Back on March 9th, the market was in a downtrend. In fact, VectorVest's DEW market timing signal generated a down call back on February 24th. So actually back on February 24th, that was when we started to be bearish on the market and placing bearish trades. And we were still bearish on March 9th. 
Immediately, you know you're only focusing on one trade type, the bear call credit spread. And you're only focusing on one ticker symbol, the SPX. A bear call spread means you sell one call and you buy a call above it to protect it. Both of those trades are done at the same time. You'd enter them both with your broker as one order and the broker fills it as one trade. Since you get more money for the call you sell than it costs to buy the other call, the trade results in a net credit to your account. In other words, you get paid to place the trade. Plus, the trade has a limited risk and doesn't require a lot of margin. Also, don't worry, it's not a naked option or anything like that. Plus, with the limited risk, you don't need a large account to do these trades. They're good for both small and large accounts. While we're here, let's take a look at how this trade worked out. The S&P dropped quickly that day, resulting in a profit of $1,230 in about four and a half hours. Now these trades don't all close that quickly, but they can when the market's moving fast. We'll talk about setting up this trade in just a moment, but it's worth noting that this type of trade allowed us and our clients to generate income even during the nasty coronavirus collapse in March 2020. What if you're bullish? Well, again, you want to narrow your selection and give yourself only one choice. It's called a bull put credit spread. Again, don't freak out. Bull means you're bullish. Put means it uses puts. Credit means you receive a credit when you place the trade. In other words, you're receiving money when you place this trade. And spread means you'll use two different strike prices. Let's look at an example. The market bottomed in late March and VectorVest's DEW market timing signal generated an up call on April 6th. So starting on April 6th, that's when we became bullish on the market. So on April 27th, we were still bullish. So let's look at the bullish trade we did on that day. Once again, you're going to narrow your selection and you're only going to focus on one trade type. You're going to sell a bull put spread. You're going to narrow your selection to just the SPX index. A bull put spread means you sell one put and you buy a put below that as insurance to keep your risk low. We'll talk about how to pick those strikes in just a minute. Again, while we're here, let's see how this trade worked out. The S&P continued to rise and in two days the trade closed and resulted in a nice $1,500 paycheck. Remember, they don't all close that quickly. Typically, they close in 7 to 11 days. The main thing to understand right now is you can take all the guesswork out of trading options. So far, we've looked at three ways. Number one, narrow your selection to the SPX. Number two, focus on selling options. Number three, focus on one trade for bullish and one trade type for bearish. Now, let's look at the last two ways which will help us set up the trade. The fourth way to take options out of options is to narrow your expiration selection. Options can have many different choices when it comes to expiration dates. When you go to your broker, it could be scary because there's a lot of different expirations to choose from. The way we narrow that down is by understanding this concept. You want to put time on your side. Earlier, we talked about the mistakes many option buyers make. One of the mistakes they make is they buy options that have an expiration date that is too close. They do that because those options are cheaper. Those options are like meat on the discount rack. They're cheap for a reason, because they're going to go bad very soon. So you're not buying them. You're just going to be the one who sells them to the people who are buying them. Here you see what happens to the price of an option in relation to the number of days until expiration. Notice along the bottom it shows 180 days till expiration and it shows you what would happen to the option price over that time. You can see that it took 120 days to lose half of the value. And then in the last 45 days or so, the price of that option really drops off. A mistake buyers make is that they buy an option with less than 45 days left and time decay eats away at their possible profits each day. Instead, you are going to sell options with an expiration date in this area. Remember, you are the seller. So if the price of the option declines after you sell it, 
That's good for you. It's like little mini deposits each day of time decay for you. Each day that goes by, you're keeping more and more of the premium that you collected at the beginning, so then when you close the trade, you buy it back at a cheaper price, and that's how you profit. We talked about how you will select an expiration in this window here. Well, let's narrow it down even more. Let's take even more options out of options. Your window will now look like this. Your expiration date will be in a 21 to 45 day window. That will give you only one of maybe three expiration dates to choose from. So another way to take the options out of options is to narrow the expiration date you choose to a date that's in the 21 to 45 day window. The fifth way to take options out of options is to narrow your strike selection. If you don't have a way to narrow your strike selection, you're left with dozens of choices when it comes to selecting your strike price. You want to narrow that down. The way we do that is by understanding the concept that we are sellers and we want to pick a strike that will be avoided. When I go bowling, I have this concept down to a science. You would think I was purposefully avoiding strikes. Well, you want to do the same thing when it comes to selecting your strikes for your option trades. We don't want the price of the stock, in our case, the SPX, we don't want it to get to the strike price. So we want to select strikes that are far enough away that they have a very low probability of getting hit. But we have to compromise. We can't set it too far away because we still want to collect premium and the premium gets lower and lower the farther away you go. Let's look at an example. Remember this bull put from earlier? We got a signal the market was moving up, so we wanted to pick strike prices below the current price of the SPX, and we wanted to choose a strike price that had little chance of getting hit. Let me say it another way. We think the market's going up. We don't think it's going down, but just in case, we want to select a strike price far enough below it that has little probability of getting hit, just in case the market changes direction. By doing this, it allows the S&P to go up, to go sideways, and even come down a little bit, and we can still be profitable. That's going to be the definition of an income trade, where you can win even if you are wrong on direction. Here's the concept. This blue area shows a thing called probability. Without getting into all the details, it shows where the price has a 68% chance of being in the future. You will choose your strike prices towards the edges of that area. Looking at the trade we did, notice the strike price was at the lower half, which means it has much less than a 50% chance of getting hit. That means you have a greater than 50% chance of winning. And that's what you want for your income trades. So a way to take the options out of options is to only look at strike prices that have little chance of getting hit, but still give a good premium. Let me ask you a question, and I want you to spend a few seconds and write down your answer. How much easier would it be for you to trade options if your choices were narrowed down to just one or two? Take a moment, write down an answer and then I'll show you the step-by-step -step system that we use. Okay, we teach our clients what we call the SPX Paycheck System, and it's a five-step system to place these trades, and it really takes the options out of options. First is market direction. We look at one indicator, and it's either up or down. As we talked about, we only use the SPX for these trades. When it comes to option selection, we only look at two types of trades. If the market direction is up, we use the bull put. If the market direction is down, we use the bear call. Today, we talked about how we set up the trade using the strike and expiration. We didn't have time today to get into the trade management, but we also have a strategic trade management plan that has simple rules to take profits and to manage a trade if it goes against you. Do you remember Mike from earlier? He was the one who made $12,000 in four months and then later in that year said he was able to prepay his property tax bill. Well, this is the system we taught him and that he uses. Every decision is mapped out and this is the flow chart we provide our students who take the course and it maps out every decision. 
Notice there aren't 15 different options. The whole point was to take the options out of options and to make the system simple. If you want to be like Mike and many, many others, the best way to learn this system is to register for our course called the Options Paycheck. It's designed to take you step by step through the system that you need to generate safe, consistent income. The outcome that you get from this course is a complete A to Z system to generate income from option trades each month. Clients who've taken this course are conservatively making 3% a month and it takes them less than an hour per week. This course guides you step by step through everything you need to use options to generate income. While a base understanding of calls and puts would be ideal, we have had a ton of people take this course without any prior options experience and still excel. That's because we lay a strong foundation at the beginning. And every step of the way, everything is described in great detail using real life examples. There's no guesswork here. You will have exact rules to follow every step of the way. This is the most complete step-by-step -step course you will find teaching you how to use options for income. As a bonus for registering for the course, you will also get our SPX paycheck system, which includes the flow chart we talked about today. If you've already registered for the course, don't worry, you'll get this too. It's a huge bonus, and as I said before, it is perhaps the single most influential and effective income strategy we've taught. Here's one example. Jan said, I am particularly impressed with the options paycheck course. I have profited significantly even during training. I've been trading only the SPX credit spreads this year because I don't have the time or inclination to sit in front of the computer all day. Well, it sounds like Jan decided to take the options out of options. She went on to say, Ron Wheeler has been a fantastic trainer and helped me generate over $60,000 profit this year trading the options paycheck way. This is the easiest and simplest money generating project I've ever come across with so small a risk. That's awesome stuff. So here's what we'd like to do. We'd like to roll up our sleeves and work with you for the next seven weeks and teach you how to use options to generate income. Even if you've never had success with options, we're gonna do this together. If you wanna join us, it's an investment of $995 US. To register, go to optionspaycheck.com. The price of the course will go up on Monday and registration closes on Wednesday. So you've got to act fast. Now we understand that $995 is an investment and it might cause some hesitation. Before I tell you about our money back guarantee, here's what some other students had to say. Maybe you're like Stan. I asked Stan if he had any hesitations about signing up for the course. He said, just the price, but now I find it was worth it. Since the course ended, I have now made enough to pay for the course. Way to go, Stan. We got this note from Wahid about 10 days after he took the course. He said, well, the paycheck course was well worth it. I just calculated my profit so far, and they've paid for the course at least six times over. And if you look below that, you see Tom said, right? I'm right there with you. Here's what else Tom said. He posted this on our private Facebook group. If you've been trading as long as I have and tried as many things as I have, you probably get the same emails. Turn $50 into a million overnight. Well, none of that stuff worked before. But I have to say, this options paycheck stuff is the real deal. If you've seen my posts before, you know I opened an account last year with $60,000. For the remaining 10 months of the year, I was up $36,964. The account is now staying the same as I am truly using this as a paycheck. Think about the freedom that that gives you. And if you still have hesitations, we do offer a money back guarantee on this course. That's right, you can go through the entire course, learn everything we've got to teach you, and if you're not satisfied, we'll give you all your money back. The only thing we require is that you give it your best effort. Come to the classes, do the work, because we know if you do, you're going to see the results. If you're still not satisfied that you have learned how to generate income, we'll give you all of your money back.
Keep this in mind. If you do nothing, nothing will change. Ask yourself, what will it cost you if you do nothing? How much money will you lose? How much potential profit will you miss out on? How much time and energy will you spend trying to do this on your own? Then ask yourself how your life would be different if you do it and it works. It was said that a goal without a plan is just a wish. Many people say they have a goal to learn to generate income, but if you don't have a plan to do it, it's just a wish. The Options Paycheck course is the plan. It's the plan for you to achieve the goal of consistent income. So again, go to www.optionspaycheck.com and get yourself registered now before registration closes. You will not regret the investment you make. We have seen so many people's lives change because of the course, and we hope you decide to join us.